Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the brand new update, which of course is the Halloween update. We now have wolves, we have a witch somewhere on the map, and we even have a cemetery. Finally, we can take care of our dead, which apparently is very important. So if we just go ahead and don't build this, people are going to get incredibly upset, and quite understandably so. So today, our first main goal is to build the cemetery caretaker, and then the cemeteries. Thankfully, we have all this space over here already, so I think it'll be quite an easy job to convert this. On top of all that, we now have the clinic, which is just a smaller version of the hospital, but on top of that, the way the plague works is now slightly different. From my understanding, how it works now is that a cluster of population will be infected, and then the infection will spread from that point, rather than just X amount of people are ill, and then it's up to the doctors to run around finding every ill person with the disease not spreading. So... I'm going to go ahead and put the clinic over here. Although we do already have a hospital, we do need the clinic to build new hospitals now. So, it makes sense to just put this here. Sure. Let's just make it look like it's attached to the hospital. On top of all of that, what I really want to do is start building a new area over here. So I think I'm going to do, originally, I was just going to keep on expanding the city, adding walls. But instead, we're going to add a road system going through here, keep all of this as trees, add some more foresters over here, and then make a whole new city. So we have two cities. And apparently we have iron over here. Yes, of course we do. I was a bit confused there because I thought, oh, I didn't have iron available. But no, I've always had iron, I just didn't have stone on this main island except for this one little mine over here. Now, one thing which has happened is all of this has been reset, so one second, I'm going to reset all of these back to how they were, and then we're going to go and try and find the witch, which apparently we need to talk to, and make friends with, and then eventually even get spells out of. So there is the witch. I must have went past that like three or four times trying to find it. But there we go, the witch. As you approach the door, the witch seems to be sleeping. Knock, knock. You've awakened me. That's how she talks now. How long was I asleep? Years, perhaps? I am starved. Fetch me some food, you will. Don't worry, I won't speak like that again. Okay, let's send two years, 42 food. So that's going to happen in two years, or is it every year? No, we instantly lost the food. Thanks very much. Let's chat again in eight years. Eight year, fine. Well, at least we got started early on. Now, we do have some wolves over here, and the wolves will attack. Oh, no, it's an empty cave. Huh, I don't know how that works then. Okay, well, from what I read, wolves will attack anyone that gets close, including Vikings, except for foresters, and you can kill them using regular towers, thus making the area safer again. Well, that is very curious, but let's begin by building our cemetery. Let's get this started as soon as possible. Let's put it here. Actually, no, I'll put it here because I want the cemetery to have a view of the statue. There we are. Can I build the rest straight away? Yes, I can. So what do we have available? So, it looks like all of them have four entrances. This one looks more like a road, though. All the rest are more decorative, and that's more standard. Hmm, what about if we have the one which looks more like a road going along here, then we have the standard going all the way to the walls, so this whole area is used up. Though apparently we do need to build some more roads, but we can fix that when we need to. Okay, that corner doesn't really make sense to be like that, though, so let's add one of the more circular ones, like that. Make it more interesting to the eye. And then cemeteries, these ones, and let's go like that. Uh, maybe like that instead. Do I want them facing the road, or do, I, or do I want them facing the statue? I think facing the road, still. Also tempted to build a church here, then. Yeah, we could build a church. Maybe move the caretaker somewhere else. Build a church here. Let's see how much space we've actually got. The church is pretty big. But what we could do is put the church here. 
That would also allow us to extend the road. Or perhaps even here, yeah, and then have the caretaker in the corner. That makes way more sense. Okay. Move all that, and let's get to work. So, church goes here. Then we'll have a regular road. Definitely going to keep that as dirt road, just because I think it looks better. I will be replacing all this with stone, though, in a while. Then we can go ahead and put down the caretaker right there. Yeah, it's perfect. Then I'll see how that looks, then I'll put down the rest of the cemeteries. Also, I've got a bad throat, so speaking is getting very difficult. Halloween-style town square. That's cool. Wait, are we at 100 happiness? Oh, because we recently killed a dragon and fought off the Vikings. Okay. We're losing money. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie, dear. And we definitely have the archers and blister towers off. Yes, we do. Um, over here, we can turn the blister towers off from now on then, I guess. Now how we're we doing? Slight increase. Okay, we really, really need to work on getting some more people then. So, we have enough stone already, so I'm sorry to the people I'm about to displace. But, we are about to build a new manor. Eventually, all of these were going to be turned into manors anyway, because they have more people per home. By how much, actually? 12 versus 25. Oh. So we only get plus one. Though, we do get more heads of household. Though, that doesn't increase per villager. Huh. I thought there was more of an increase there. Well, then we just need to build more houses elsewhere then, don't we? Um. Oh, you are holding a dead person. Oh, there we go. The first two who have died. Tombstones eventually disappear, so cemetery plots can be reused. Okay, that's really good to know. Also, I've placed these facing the statue, haven't I? Darn it. Okay, well, most of them don't seem to have been... Nope, that's actually all built. In that case, we're going to have the um, tombstones facing the statue after all, because I messed up the first build, because I didn't realise that was built like that. Whoopsie-daisy. Yeah, definitely, they're all facing that way. That's fine, that's no big deal. It's just not quite what I was after, that's all. Now, I need to do start building over here, then let's get this started going to the new city. Oh, that's nice. So all of the cemeteries have merged into one. In that case, with how that looks, what I think I'm going to want in the center is this. That does look a bit more dense, though. I was hoping it'd look a bit more interesting, but I don't like, really like how that looks, to be perfectly honest. Same again, a bit too dense. Would that look good? No, I don't think it would. I think just going with the boring and respectful is probably the best option. So just rows upon rows. For once, we need to purchase some weapons. The reason is it turns out the wolves can also be killed by our soldiers, which is very, very important since right now we are about to go through some of the wolves' territory. So, to safeguard our people, we are going to need some soldiers. Okay, so we have loads of weapons, so all we need now is... the barracks. So, apparently I should have built a clinic here earlier. Wow. The plague just wiped everyone out here. So, because it can spread, it seems, it's way, way more deadly than it used to be. Is that the door? Or is that the door? That's the door, right? The black section? Or is that meant to be the door? It does have stairs. I don't know. I don't know which one of those two it is. Um, either way, I, I prefer it like that. Can you please build that as soon as possible so next time the plague occurs, well, this doesn't happen. You know what? The new mechanics 
are going to make this type of thing way more difficult, building small sections. There we are. So we are going to need a cemetery then. I guess I'll have to build up the walls later. Yeah, let's go with that. Those two that way, those two that way. Oi. Oh, red. The recently departed are not being shown a respectful burial. I know, but I'm trying! The wall continues to be moved, and I have just gave the witch another gift. Apparently this time she wanted some food and some gold. And now she still likes us. In fact, she really likes us, and now has gave us the spell, Feed Peasants Instantly. Sadly, I can't afford that right now, but I will be able to afford it later. I'm hoping it will fill up our stockpiles rather than just make everyone full. That would be a lot easier on us. Okay, I can now do the spell. Let's see what happens. Hello! Done! So... It is just everyone becomes full. I mean, it's still pretty good. Just would rather have more food added to the stockpile when needed. Anyway. Sorry, doggos. Can you all attack or... So now that they've been taken care of, it's now an empty cave. Okay. Sorry, doggos. Let's start removing some of this. We can build our new area. So now I've cast that spell. Can I still cast it? Okay, good. It's just on a cooldown. We've just had a Viking attack, so now it's time to build up this section over here. So eventually, we will have our city located here. But for now, we're essentially going to build a very strong defensive wall all the way along here, hopefully before the next Viking attack. Which means I'm also building a moat because that's a very easy way to help counter ogres. Okay, that's as high up as those two are going to go, and they will be the highest part of that wall, and I am currently building some more soldiers as well, which will help to defend it. I should be getting gold, right? Yes. Very quickly, in fact. Well, that's interesting. The merchant ship is now using this little makeshift river we've made. Oh, dear. Wrong side, but actually... I don't know if I'm happy or not they're on that side, because this is definitely not finished yet. And definitely is vulnerable. And this side does have the Grand Cathedral! Well. Let's get ready. I'm gonna lose some serious um, bits of wall here. Oh, you are firing! Yeah, for some reason the animation just isn't working with these. We have so many ballistas here though, the ogres will die pretty quickly, just the problem is the walls die quickly as well. And there are dragons on the way. Oh, I just saw the conversion beam. Yep, all of those vikings are now our people. Glorious. Welcome aboard, lads. We so need to replace these walls with anything. Oh, and again, conversion. And again, conversion. We now have too many people. And again, conversion. <laughs> Smack. Wow. Wow. So the cathedral is very powerful. Final Vikings.
Glorious. Wow, we are bloodthirsty. Glad Vikings were destroyed in the recent invasion. Okay, so, back to what I was doing before then. Let's rebuild these wooden walls as useless as they are because we just don't have enough stone right now. Then we get to work finishing off the other section. Then we can start replacing these with stone. And the mason should go ahead and fix the stone walls anyway. So actually, not all that much damage was done. It looked worse than it was. They got through the wall, but they didn't really get to do anything. Also, what's the witch up to? Hello. Of course we're going to help. Plague cure. That's awesome. Well, here come the ogres, and we are still not quite ready for them. Why are you not firing? Or are you? Are you firing and just not doing the animation? Yeah, you are. Okay. Okay, not too bad so far. Is that it? Well, at least for the regular Vikings, it seems like it is, which is good for me. Have they knocked out the pier? Yes, they have. Oh, no, they haven't. Good. Thankfully, the regular Vikings cannot actually harm this wall. And I don't think they get passed either. I have built it like this. Ah, but their boats can. Knock the boats out, lads. Working just fine. Much better. That's it, run away. Even if they do come back now to attack, we still have all of the arch towers and everything over here. There's only a few things left. Everything went pretty well. Here's something. Viking Smite. Well, I'm going to find out that in the next battle then, it seems. In the meantime, over the last year or so, I have now built up this significantly more. I'm going to have this sort of defense structure on both of the edges. Sadly, the gate is not directly in the middle, but because of how we're going to shape this, I don't think it's going to matter in the end. It just looks weird right now when it's just a single wall. Honestly, having some walls on the outside would be good as well, but once again, we need more stone. Our next expansion will be over here so that we can grab some more stone quarries. And I have began work over here replacing the wood finally with proper stone walling. It feels like very little has happened this episode, but actually quite a lot has. It's one of those very weird episodes. Okay, let's wait until most of them are here. What a weird angle of attack. I do not like that at all. Definitely a good year to test out that smite spell. Come on, all spawn in. Okay, good enough. Oh, mighty witch. Viking smite. Oh! <laughs> that was a one-shot kill. Did not expect it to be that powerful. I can't laugh at the moment, otherwise I'll burst out coughing. 45 years until it's useful again. But honestly, that was good. That was really good. Thank you. There is a mason here. Yeah, that's why it's being repaired already. Good, good, good. So, I've had a bit of a change of plan, which I think will turn out for the best. So, this area over here will become the farming and, as previously planned, the forester section. Then this over here will be residential and industrial, especially since we do now have the glory that is iron. So we can start making our own tools and our own weapons, which is finally going to be a thing we have. This also means we get to keep this lovely river in the middle so we can have a dock here and a dock here. And essentially, this means we can split 
the entire world now because we're going to have a dock on both sides it means we can easily access both sides and then this can be used as a source of middle ground we can also do the same over here so from now on when we have all the islands they're all going to connect up a lot easier and once again i think it's just going to look a lot better sadly i did also mess up and i didn't allow the witch to get one of her demands and now she's not happy about this hopefully in the future we can make her happy again well, I'm afraid with that, I am all out of time for today's video. Some serious progress has been done, and in the next video, I think I've decided we are going to go ahead and make our new outpost over here on this island, because still, stone is massively slowing us down. The reason why everything seems to take so long is just because the lack of stone we have. So I'm going to make a new dock over here. I'm going to move on over to the brand new island, grab the stone reserve as soon as possible, and try to clear these wolf dens yeah the wolf dens are going to be a little bit difficult honestly since we can't just move the troops over or at least we couldn't used to any chance i can audio over here no no i didn't think so and sadly they can't get on boats or anything like that so we can't move the troops over i guess we're just going to have to make a tower with the um well just the archer tower and try to take them out that way hopefully that will work out and i still need to make some more archer towers over here rather than just pure ballista still a lot to do hopefully i will be playing this game a little bit more as the internet comes back because i still absolutely love this game i just always feel like i don't have enough time to play it so if you have enjoyed then of course likes favorite shares comments all that good stuff helps out me helps out the channel and most importantly shows that kingdoms and castles is a series you wish to see continued in the future hopefully next time my throat will be a little bit better as well thank you for watching and goodbye